What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another 5-Minute Friday. This Friday, we're going to be talking about keyframes and how you can use those to enhance your videos. Let's get straight to it. First things first, we're going to talk about what is a keyframe and why is it important. So basically, a keyframe is a point on your timeline that tells the object where to go or what to do. This can be found in the effects control panel within Adobe Premiere Pro. If you open up this panel, you will see that there's a stopwatch icon beside each effect that you could click. Now, once you click on that stopwatch icon, it'll put a keyframe at the point where your cursor is. You can move down two or three frames or however many frames you need to and click that icon again and it'll set another keyframe. Now, this is important when you're trying to do a certain effect or pull off a certain type of fade or transition. So we're going to talk about a few different transitions and effects that you can do using keyframes. So for the next couple of minutes, we're going to look a little deeper into these examples to see how to pull them off. So the first thing I want to talk about is adding motion to your shot. This is one of my favorite things to do, honestly, because it just adds that energy to your music videos. And if you got like a boring shot that you um, took on a tripod, if you just add that motion and just engage that viewer just a little bit more. So let's talk about how to pull this. Okay, so we're here in Adobe Premiere Pro and we're going to do a quick zoom in shot using the keyframes. Now, the first thing you want to make sure is that you are on the effects tab within Adobe Premiere Pro. This is the only place you're going to be able to add your keyframes. So once you're here, you find the spot on the footage where you want to start in your zoom in effect. For me, it's going to be at the beginning of the footage. So I'm going to click this image. I'm at this icon right here by the, the icon that I was telling you guys about the stopwatch. This is going to start my motion it's set at 100. Then I'll let the video play out into a couple. I'll let a few frames pass. Find out where I wanted to stop. Change my value of my scale. I want to zoom in, so I'm going to make the value higher to 120. And it automatically adds another keyframe for you. If you already have a keyframe selected and you move forward and change the scale, any amount, it's going to add another keyframe. So be mindful of that. But let's just let this play out and see how it looks. Yeah, that's dope. That's hot. See that? I just took a boring shot and added just a little bit of flavor to it. That, that works for me. All right, so be back. I hope you guys understood that concept. I hope I explained that clearly so you could flip it, turn it to your own, make some money from it, or use it however you see fit. Uh, secondly, we're going to talk about adding keyframes to your titles and text. Now, this is going to be very important for my people that shoot advertisement for organizations and businesses. Uh, this could potentially take your videos from being here to here. So, I mean, it's just like one of those things is so simple, but it's very, very, like, it's just, it separates the amateurs from the professionals. So, let's look into that real quick, jump straight to it, and then we'll get right back to the last example. Okay, so now we're about to use our keyframes to animate this text layer. So, I already have the text layer here. I'm assuming that you already know how to do it. If not, drop a comment and I'll help you out. Now, I know earlier I said that you only could uh, um, get to your keyframes under the effects tab, but you could actually get to it under editing as well. And another quick tip is if you click this Windows button right here, you can add um, this effects control to any one of these tabs above here uh, just by you know changing your workspaces up here. So that's another thing as well. But however you get to your effects control tab, that's where you want to be at. Once we're here, uh, you want to set a keyframe for your position. I want this text to start off screen. So I'm going to change my Y axis to a point where this text is no longer on the screen. And I'm going to set, click this stopwatch to add a keyframe. I already had one there. So that's why that popped up. So once you set your keyframe right here, you'll go forward a few frames to where you would like your text to pop up at. And stop it. I went too far. Uh, maybe have it pop up like right here. And I will change my Y axis again on my graphics tab to a point where uh, I would want to see my text at. Maybe that's too high, maybe down here. So once you change this Y axis value again, it'll put your text on the screen somewhere. You can move it around to figure out where exactly you want it at. And it'll add another keyframe for you. And then you just let it play out. So to me, that looks good. Like, I like it. Um, 
of course, I would probably have it screwed over some if I was being like, you know, if I was sending this to a client or posting it somewhere. But you get the gist of it. You can also, one more quick tip. If you hit this opacity stopwatch, you can actually fade out the text as well. And we're going to talk about that on our next effect as well. All right, we're back for the last point. If you're still here with me right now, I just want to say I appreciate it. Thanks for rocking out with me. Go ahead, drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're finding this information helpful. Uh, this can help me reach a lot more other people and give them the free resources that us creators need, especially starting out. But enough of that. We're going to get on to this last point and talk about how to use keyframes to fade out your uh, shots. Now, this could be done in a cinematic way to end the video and, you know, really go out with a bang. Or it could be done as a transition. You could get real creative with this one. So, enough of me talking, like, wasting time. I don't know why I'm doing this. Let's get to it. Wrap it up. Bring All right, so in. let's fade out this shot using keyframes. So... We have our zoom in and our text to come in and fade out. Now we're going to fade out our shot. So we go back to our effects control tab, however you get there, wherever it's at on your Premiere Pro. Um, pick the point where you want the fade to start. So I know I kind of like, like to do three to five seconds before it ends. But this is a, ver a short clip, so I'm going to do about a second before it ends. So it ends at six. So I'm going to start my stopwatch at about five, five seconds. So I just go ahead and click on opacity uh, stopwatch, which adds your keyframe for you. Um, right now it is at 100% because our video is fully displayed, it's at 100. If you wanna fade it out, you could just drop down opacity and as you see your video fades. So we're gonna start off at, the, at 100 and we want it to end at zero because it's going off, you want it to fade to black. So send this straight to zero, move it to the end around six seconds, and just let it play out, see if we like it. That looks good. Now that could just take a regular shot that just ended abruptly to something more smooth. So that's without it, and that's, this is smooth ending, you know? Now if you wanna get a little bit more creative, I have another uh, little shot right here that we have. I can move that right underneath where the where the opacity um, where the opacity keyframes are, and it will fade straight into that as well. So it's just little stuff you could play with with the keyframes and add different things to it. And, you know, just get creative with it, make it your own. But I just wanted to show you the basics so you can get out there and you know start to mess with it. So we finally reached the end of the video. If you're still here, I want to say thank you. Again, your watch time and your likes and your comments is helping me reach other creators and providing free resources for everybody that's just starting out just like I was, once was and you once was. So I appreciate that. I want to give a quick shout out to my boy King Feek and his clothing line, Bomani. I got the hat on right now. Got a shirt as well. Dope clothing brand here in D.C. Um, go, you got to check them out. You got to check them out. Lastly, I want to talk about a product that I've been working on. Um, I know I haven't been posting the 5 Minute Fridays how I normally have, but I'm just working on things that could really help this community grow, especially the people that's just starting out. I'm going to keep emphasizing that because that's who I do it for. And that's the information and resources I needed when I first started out. So just I'm saying that to say, working on a product that's coming out soon, just stay locked in. It's going to be affordable. Um, right up your alley is going to help you brand yourself across all platforms. So just stay up to date to that. I'm going to drop some videos soon. It should be dropping, uh, if not by the end of the month, early next month. So again, I appreciate y'all rocking out with me. Let's keep growing together. Let's get to it.